check this out, even your best qualities, <laughs> the thing that attracted your spouse to you in the first place, oftentimes become the things that drive you apart, become the things that, 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 that are tiresome, that are difficult in your marriage. That's hard to believe, right? <laughs> you mean, this is who I am. This is, this is why you liked me in the first place. And now you're telling me what? What happened? See, you need to be aware. We need to be aware of this. We absolutely, your best qualities, the things that make you you and make you cool, are tainted by sin. Understand that. They may have been very attractive, especially at first. Now they weigh on you in the marriage. Let's talk about a few of these. I'm going to give you five or six examples. There are countless different personalities. You're going to fit into one of these. Some of you are strong, bold, and decisive. And that's good. You know, you, especially if you're a, a woman looking for a good Christian man and you want somebody who's bold and who's decisive and who's strong. And that, and that can very well attract you to him. Like, this, he cares. He's going to protect me. He's going to... He's going to stand up for me. He's going to be there for me. And that's an attractive quality, isn't it? And it is. And they're wonderful characteristics to, to be bold, to be strong, to take a stand. And I'm here to be decisive. Now, here's what we're going to do, and here's why we're going to do that. And that's, that's something that can be very attractive and very good in many ways. But you know what? When sin gets a hold of those, and when sin comes into play there, that person that you were so attracted to, so bold and strong and, you know, just taking care of you in that way can very easily become a domineering person in your marriage, an overbearing person in your marriage, a prideful, stubborn person in your marriage, a controlling person, and yes, even sometimes a scary person, right? Do you see that? You see what's, So your best quality, this is, kind of defines me in some ways. I'm, I'm this, I'm strong, I'm a leader, I do this. So at first, what your spouse was so attracted to she admired your strength. Now she's wondering what happened to that person and, and feels smothered and scared. Do you understand? Do you see that? See, you need to be aware of that. If that's a gift, if that's a strength, if that's a good characteristic that the Lord has given to you, right? Be aware. Because, you know, this is just who I am. But as sin takes hold, all of a sudden, this is who you become. Careful. Careful on that. That's why we need to look to the Lord. Number two, how about a passionate person? Some people, you just love that passionate person. Oh, they, they just have a zeal and a zest for life, and they just go all out with whatever they do. That's cool. That's a good thing. We like passionate people, right? You know, you're, you're, you're giving a lot of attention, and they just love life and, and love, love you, and, uh, and it's just such a zeal and a zest. But, but taken too far. And when sin comes into play, because we're fallen, that same passion becomes an obsession. Right? So that person who has that wonderful passion for this and passion for you becomes very obsessive or very selfish. And guess what? Oftentimes in marriages, you might be their passion and they're pursuing you and have a zeal and a zest for you, but after a while it might be something else. So oftentimes you hear like from a spouse, oh, well, he's married to his job or he's married to his garage that's his mistress or that's you know she loves that that's who she's really with because now your passion has shifted so to be passionate is wonderful it's exciting it is cool it's a, it's a wonderful characteristic but it also becomes can become and you need to be aware of that if you're bringing that into marriage it's part of how um, your personality and who you're made even in the Lord that's, where, that's why I say we take the log out of our own eye because we don't like to think that because this is who I am. That's, that's how we think. Another vein, and we talk about uh, being very passionate, is when it becomes in an, in an emotional way, when you have that passion, that person can tend to become very jealous, very possessive. You know, at first, passionate, they're loving on me and it's wonderful, but the next thing you know or down the line, you know, this, you're feeling just boxed in. This person's angry and suspicious and what, you know, because you're, you're, you're passionate in that way, overbearing. So we need to be careful about that. So even the best things about you, because we live in a sinful world, bring damage, cause damage in the marriage. You understand? 
So it is about you, but not like loving yourself, but understanding your sinful self and looking to Christ. Another uh, organized, structured person. That's a wonderful thing to be organized, to be structured. A lot of us need that. You know, you need to be guided. You have that. And that's a wonderful, wonderful gift. But if that goes too far in a sinful way, what happens? You become very rigid, become demanding, impossible to please. <laughs> Everybody's doing it wrong. My way is the only way. It has to be precise and right every single time. You know, so organized structure is good, but then get to a place where it becomes, you know, you're, afraid, you're walking on eggshells because you don't want to do something wrong. We need to be careful about that. Okay, is everybody squirming so far? Is there anybody, you, get, you still cool? Okay, how about the easygoing personality? Hey, we'd love that too. That's a wonderful gift. If you're nice and easygoing, you're a relaxed person, a cool person. Everything just kind of sl slips off your back. You go with the flow. That's a, that's a good thing, right? That's, that's, that's not bad, and it isn't bad to, to an extent. But in a sinful way, when that comes to a place where that easygoingness turns into simply being passive, then there's an issue there, right? How many of you are married to, to a spouse like that? You never confront, you never take a stand, very fearful, little passion for, for anything, and just almost indifferent. You know, that is very frustrating. I hear from spouses all the time, it's, yeah, it's easy, it's easy going, but Man, do something, say something, <laughs> you know, get, be, um, you know, take charge once in a while. That, that's, again, but we're not aware of that because these are the best things about us, right? This is what makes me me kind of thing. Um, just one more. I can go on and on. We don't have the time for that. The fun person, right? Again, it's wonderful to have that fun person, that fun-loving, joking kind of, you know, I don't know, tongue-in-cheek, cheeky kind of person. That, that's fun. You, it's fun to be with that person. Everybody, people have that reputation. Just a fun guy or she's a fun gal. It's wonderful to be with them. They're very rarely se serious. Again, there's, there's a place for that. But then there does come a time when you need to be serious. Right? That gets, a, that gets extremely annoying when that fun person, and there's a serious situation, and they're making jokes about it all the time and laughing it off or, you know, d diverting the attention elsewhere. There's little emotional depth there. Again, you want to, it becomes annoying. What, what's, it's not funny. Everybody thinks your spouse is so funny, except you, right? <laughs> after a while, because, yeah, first you were. I loved that about you at first, but man, oh, come on, give me a break. You're not funny anymore. You need to be aware of this. These are good things, and they're so attractive at first. But I'm just telling you, this, I'm putting this out there for you in terms of our marriage, how we recapture, because they can and do in sinful ways work against our marriages. And they result in frustration, resentment, disappointment, distance within the marriage. These good things that you bring into the marriage. 